what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife I'm so glad you're here Today's an exciting video. We are doing a collab video. Uh, it is Easter favorites. Um, and Valerie Hargett and Sammy over Managing the Maze are co-hosting this collab. And if you could check them out, there's also going to be a playlist that other channels are involved in. And we're doing Easter favorites. Now, I have a little story with mine, but first... As you can see, I've got cleanup to do. Hey, before we go any further, let me just say welcome if you're new here. My name's Leslie. You are down in my kitchen down on the farm. And uh, I do videos on cooking, grocery hauls, lifestyle, um, um, just day in the life of, I don't know, you name it, farming videos. You name it, you'll probably see it here on this channel. I just do a wide variety. I just usually bring you along with me and what I'm doing during the day or what I'm cooking. So that's what we're going to do today. It is a collab video. So be sure to go down into the description, look at the playlist and watch all the videos. Now, I am going to tell you the story behind my dish I'm making today. But first, I got to finish cleaning up so I can have a nice, clean work area to get this started. So I'll bring you guys back just as soon as I have everything cleaned up and ready. So let me tell you the story behind this dish. I have actually never made it for Easter before, but I've had it and it is absolutely delicious. This, whenever my recipe book gets completed, whenever that is, I keep saying it's going to be this year, this year, this year, and it never happens. So whenever it gets completed, this recipe will be in there. But we refer to this as Joni's potatoes. Let me tell you why. We feed our local football team at our church every home game. And this has become one of their favorites. When Bryant tasted it, he said, Leslie, you got to eat some of these potatoes and find out how to make them. So I called Joni, a lady in our church. She generously gave me the recipe and also gave me permission to put it in the cookbook. Um, so we're going to make them today. Let me tell you why I think they're so good for Easter and why I want to put them on my Easter table this year. If you're like me, you cook a big spread for Easter or you or, or combine you like Caroline and her in-laws and Jessica and Isaac, everybody will be here for Easter. And so everybody kind of pitches in, but you want to make it as easy as possible because hopefully you go to church on Easter Sunday and um, you're, you're rushing around. And so you've got to get a lot of things done in a short amount of time. So I want to, um, I, I want to make it as easy as possible on me. And this potato recipe, you don't have to peel the potatoes because we're going to use red potatoes. I have my enamel bowl here full of washed red potatoes. And there's a root end. You can see there's a little bitty divot on the end. And you just want to cut that, that part off. And other than that, you just slice them, put them in a pot, and we're going to cook them till tender. It won't take long because we're going to slice them fairly thin. Uh, I have a really large one in here. This one I'll probably cut in half and then slice it down. But let's get started getting these sliced. My good knife is actually being washed right now. So I'm just going to slice these up. I know I'm not going all the way through, but that's okay. And we'll just take them and we'll put them in our pot here. 
and I'll get some water going in just a minute on them so they don't turn brown. We don't want them to turn brown. But um, I'm just finding my little root in and cutting it off. If there's any bad spots, you want to cut them out. But other than that, we're just going to slice them. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. All right. So let me get these going. I'm going to get them all sliced. And I'll bring you back when we get these with some water on them and um, cooking. I wanted to show you this as well, making sure my mic is on. Here is the little end you're going to cut off. And on the opposite end, there's usually quite a bit of divots and eyes. So I, if it's a lot and really deep, I cut those off too. So that's up to you. I just thought I would show you that. And I'm just going to slice these up and keep getting them in my pot. I only have a few more to slice. And we will be ready for the next step. So if this had taken me much longer to slice up, I would have gone ahead and put some water on them. Um, and I'm just giving them a salt. But the reason I would have gone ahead if it had taken me much longer is I don't want them to turn brown. So if, if you're a slow go or have to start and stop, then you might want to go ahead and have your water in the pot. And I'm just going to cover them up with water. We're going to bring them to a boil and just until they're tender. And you don't have to slice them like I did. You just need to cut them up. However you like to slice your potatoes is totally fine. All right, let's get these over on the stove. All right, we're just going to bring these to a boil. And in the meantime, we've got some more stuff to do. So I've changed my mind. <laughs> and let me tell you why. When I'm cooking a big meal like Easter or Thanksgiving, it's all about convenience and making things easy because you have so many different things going on at the same time. So let me tell you what I was going to do. I prefer to grate up my own cheese my own block cheese just because it melts better. It's just nicer. But I had forgotten when I went to the grocery store, I picked up some Velveeta shredded cheese just to see if it um, melts any better than the other shredded cheese. And hey, even if it doesn't, this is a convenience item. I know it has that anti-caking stuff in here. Um, I don't, a lot of times you can really see it on the cheese. You can see that white powdery stuff. I don't see it quite so much on this one. So I'm hoping there's not quite as much on this. But I think what I'm going to do is um, try this just to see. But this is the preferred thing is to shred your own. But like I said, at a big meal when I've got lots of things going, I want to make it as convenient and easy as possible. So that's what we're doing with this recipe. We're making this recipe super easy, super simple. So we're going with convenience over what I would normally prefer. But like I said, I'll be coming home from church like a mad woman and um, I'll be tired for one, because we get up, we go to church at 7.30 to be there for the Easter breakfast. We used to have a sunrise service before breakfast, but now um, since we, we've outgrown our sanctuary for the whole church to come together, so we are moving our Easter services over to a local elementary school, and we're having it in their gymnasium. And so that's, anyway, it's going to be early. I'm going to be tired. I'm going to have a lot of things cooking and going so if I can make it easier on myself, then I'm going to do that. Um, but if it was just a regular weeknight and I just had just a few things, then this would be my preferred way of doing it. But hey, it's okay. And we're also going to make another shortcut. Um, it calls for bacon. And if um, you have time to fry you up the pieces of bacon and crumble them up and all that good stuff, then 
of course, that's the preferred and best way. But I have some of the real bacon bits and that's what we're, pieces, real bacon pieces. So that's what we're going to use. And so, yeah. All right. As soon as the potatoes are done, I'll drain them and we'll come back for You're not going to believe how easy this dish is. It is super easy. So I'm going to put the block cheese back away and I'll meet you back. Oh, and I'm also going to put my cheese grater away. And because that's, I was what I fully intended on doing, but I changed my mind because we want to make this easy for Easter. Hey, if you get a chance, don't forget to go check out Sammy at um, making, um, managing the maze and Valerie, go check their channels out along with all the other wonderful channels in the playlist. I can't wait to sit down and just watch and see what everybody's making. All right. So the potatoes are nice and done and tender and I've actually drained them. And so we're just going to put them in a pan over here. I thought I had some butter spray, but I don't. So we're just going to set this aside. All right. Now here's where you're not going to believe how absolutely easy uh, this dish is. All right. So what you're going to want to get is some ranch dressing and you're not going to want to, you don't need to go buy the high dollar stuff. Just buy the store brand, whatever store you happen to be at. And we're going to douse these really well, like probably the whole bottle will. <laughs> I mean, does it get any better than this? I mean, really? Does it get any better? I mean, how can you go wrong with potatoes and ranch so far? You know we're going to add cheese. You know we're going to add bacon. And so you're going to be using quite a bit of ranch. And so you definitely want to go with, no, you don't want to spend a lot of money on your ranch. I'm going to give it a shake now. All right, guys. All right, so I want to kind of mix this up just a little bit. I'm going to put some bacon on the bottom, oh, you know, in the potatoes, down in them, as well as we'll top the cheese with some bacon as well. I think Joni may just put the bacon on top. I'm not sure. I can't really remember. All right, so now we're going to top it with cheese. My oven is preheated to 350. Bryant is actually not here. He is off at a surgery. We have a gentleman in church having a, a, an extensive surgery this morning. So Bryant is there with him and his wife and so I may call Daniel or Isaac or somebody in to do a taste test on this and like I said we're going to go in and I'm going to sprinkle some more bacon on top all right so there we go. All right, it's going in a 350 degree oven just for about 15 minutes, just really to melt the cheese. So I'll see you when we come out. So I have Isaac gonna stop by and give this a taste test. And 
we're going to, I'm going to see if I can find Daniel. Um, but here they are. Aren't they beautiful? So I'm going to scoop Isaac out some in a little dish. I still am of the mindset that if you can use, um, you know, shred your own cheese, that that would be the best thing to do. So here we have, I've got this in a bowl for Isaac and he should be pulling in. Now he has been working on the farm. He's been cleaning out a barn that um, has some old wood in it. So I'm sure he's going to be nice and dirty. So you'll just have to overlook the hardworking men in my life. They come in and they're pretty dirty because they've worked hard, manual labor. So um, we just kind of overlook the dirt. As long as I'm clean while I'm cooking, that's all that matters. So I'm excited for Isaac to come in and give this a taste test. See what he thinks. May need a little salt and pepper because I did not add that on here. I, I salted the potatoes when I boiled them, but that's all. He just pulled up. I saw him pull up. So hang on. He'll be in in just a second. All right, everybody. Look who's here. Everybody's taller than me. I have to slide the camera back because they're so tall. But this is Joni's potatoes. potatoes. Um, Joni Everhart makes them for the football team a lot. Okay. So tell us what you think. He's been out working hard. He's been cleaning out a barn, getting ready for hay to mm. store in it. It's delicious. Is that bacon bits or real bacon? It's it's a real bacon bits. Real bacon bits. I guess when you put it back in the oven, it tastes like real bacon. It tastes like fresh bacon. Mmm. Mm. He took a bite off camera and his words were it's killer. It's killer. It is killer. It's killer. It is killer. All it's right. Delicious. Well, there you have it. This is a great Easter side. Hey, don't forget to go check the um, other playlist down below because this is a collab of Easter sides. So I think um, it has a meal. You eat that as a meal? I, eat that as a meal. Yeah. Well, I love potatoes. The so. bacon be your protein? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, if Daniel comes in, we'll get him to taste it. And if Bryant comes in before this video's over, we'll get him to taste it. But All right. So stay tuned. I'll come back and say bye whenever I end this video. All right, everybody. Daniel's come in. And so I said, are you up for a taste test? And he said, sure is. We'll see what he thinks. No onions. Oh, good. <laughs> what is it? Uh, I call them Joni's potatoes, but it's really like a ranch potatoes. Oh, good. Well, good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Isaac said he could make a meal off of it. Daniel likes it. And I know Bryant likes it because he's already had it. So, all right. I'll be back to say goodbye. Okay, everybody, so there you have it. The potatoes are a hit. They will make a delicious Easter side. Hey, don't forget to go down to the playlist, check everybody else's out, and I will see you guys next time on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.